Hello, it's Chris from Chris and Acrylic Pouring and I'm delighted to announce a collaboration between a fellow UK artist, Julie Thatcher. She's based down in Dorset and she reached out to me and asked if I'd like to do a collaboration. Of course I said yes and it was all very exciting. So we produced two paintings with the premise that they had to have 50% negative space and I chose the colours which were mainly oranges and yellows contrasting with blues. I decided to do another ring pour and this is the dried painting. This is Julie's painting. It's absolutely stunning. It's a swipe with a few bloom rolls. Julie's painting has inspired me to do another painting based on doing some bloom kisses and a swipe which I will do in another video which will come soon. So here's how I created my ring pour. I propped up the canvas this time and I'm using um, a plastic cup which has got a really handy little spout. I started with some iridescent gold, then I went on to Prussian blue, and when the gold and the Prussian blue mix together, they give a really kind of bronze dark colour. Some iridescent orange and some cadmium yellow. And I just basically layered my cup, altern alternating these colours, lights to darks, and I was doing this quite carefully, making sure all the colours sat nicely on top of each other. I started pouring the um, cup out at the end of the canvas where I had tilted it. I was doing this in small, circular, gentle motions and trying to do this as carefully as I could and keep a steady hand. It does look like I'm going super fast and all I've done is sped up the video. So I'm just doing careful movements um, I find this quite difficult because sometimes I do develop a shake, but it worked out fine on this occasion. Once the cup was emptied, I started doing my tilting. I sped this up again, but you can see that I'm trying to do this relatively carefully. I'm using my left hand as a paint catcher to make sure I catch the paint and don't lose too much of interest. As ever when you're tilting, you do have to keep an eye on what's happening over the whole of the painting. Sometimes if you just concentrate on one area, you will suddenly look up at the rest of the painting and think, oh my goodness, I've lost something wonderful. So you just take your time doing this and making sure that you're happy with the end results. For the composition of this painting, I wanted it to have a slope. So I was trying to achieve this by drawing out the rings to one side. Once I was happy with the composition and I had covered the edges, I gave the painting a quick torch and this is just to get rid of air bubbles. To get ring pores to work, you do need to have your paint slightly thicker than normal and this is because the shapes will hold better. But this also can result in lots of air bubbles because the paint's quite thick, so a good torch is worth it. I now added the um, paint for the negative space. This was a mixture of um, Payne's Grey with Cerulean Blue, and I just made sure I got really good coverage. I'm totally delighted with the dry um, painting. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The metallic gold and the iridescent orange just totally sing against each other with the contrasting Prussian blue. It's dried really well and it looks stunning. I want to say a huge thank you to Julie for reaching out to me and setting me this, this challenge. It's really helped kickstart my creativity again. I think in these times everyone's suffering from low levels of anxiety and it is difficult to be creative. So. Thank you Julie and I hope you're pleased with your painting as much as I'm pleased with mine. I've put a link to Julie's um, YouTube channel in the description of this video. If you want to see some fantastic paintings then do please visit her site. So both paintings side by side. I think Julie's one on the negative space because she's got way more than I have. I think I got a bit carried away with my um, tilting. I do think they both look gorgeous though. There is something really pleasing about this size of canvas and the shape of them. It gives a very dramatic um, end result and I think both paintings look absolutely stunning. I've named this painting Cyclone and I do think it's a corker. It's really gorgeous and quite sexy actually.
I do hope you've enjoyed this creation video. Um, it's been great fun um, working with Julie. If you have liked it, please do subscribe. Do take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.